You know, it's more about being true to, you know, your, you know, passion and desire because it's more about the future. You know, technology is our future, so when you're making fun of all those little computer geeks, you know, one day they're going to be your boss and you're going to be upset and wish that you had to stay on the better side. So, you know, as far as I go, uh, you know, I'm friends with, you know, I'm friends with everybody and I don't judge people by what, you know, their goals and interests are. But, you know, I do try to, like, uh, you know, be considerate of uh, somebody else's, like, you know, passions and needs and, you know, as far as computers go, you know, that's one way and that's one path to make it. And I have taken that path and I kind of manipulated it into something that fit more me, which is film. You know, so like while I do know all these editing softwares, I don't know the rest of the computer very well. And that's something I need to learn more. And like, you know, I feel that, you know, as far as my future goes, my path and the way I manipulated, you know, making learning cool, uh, seventh grade, eighth grade, yeah, they just placed the laptop in front of us. And it was our decision about whether we're, what we were going to do with it. And some kids, you know, took it and were like, all right, well, I'm going to learn how to use this program. And even the kids, you know, my school was, you know, a lot of kids were from bad neighborhoods, disenfranchised, and didn't have, you know, a lot of access to technology. And it seemed like those were the kids that found all the, you know, they were the hackers, sort of, you know, and they found out things that I didn't know how to do. And, you know, I, because I, my, neighbor, my, my family, you know, I had a tight knit family, it was supportive, and, you know, I was friends with everybody in my class, but I still, they taught me things that I didn't know because I was still dabbling in, like, it's more of the serious stuff. And, you know, like, during class, we all never, like, we were on task, you know, when they told us that we could open our computers. Yeah, we had Microsoft Word up, but we also did have Facebook or any kind of social network right behind it, you know, and then we, like, clicking it out whenever we saw a teacher coming right by, you know, we had our screensavers, like, up and ready, you know, just in case. And uh, I felt in order to make it so we only did that, you know, it has, to, it has to be monitored as much as, you know, we probably, we probably hated it, you know, like, the fact that they were monitoring everything that we did. In order for it to be a street learning environment, you gotta monitor it. You know, you just have to. Yeah, definitely. Technology connects us all. And it's like, you know, when you find your path in technology, I feel like that's what makes you find, you know, connect. And all paths, you know, tend to, you know, you know converge or diverge. I forgot which. Converge, yeah. Conver all paths tend to converge at one point in time. So the film path definitely converges with the audio path. And you all collaborate and you all make one path and, and make something a great product. You know, like in my school, uh, or in, my, in you know, grammar school when we were doing digital youth network, I'd have to ask somebody else to make a song for me. That can go in the background of my video, and it worked, and it created a better product. And now you have to outsource, you know, now, like, you know, because you don't always have that side person right next to you. But when you do have a company or, like, or any kind of, you know, production where you have people with multiple talents, you know, it all works to make a better product. And, then, and uh, you know, I think you just need to. And sometimes you can have that background in both or three, but I feel like sometimes you know, having one where your specialty stands you out. You know, it's good to be good in a lot of different areas, but typically I like to stick with film and I'll ask somebody for help and I have no problem doing that, asking a friend for help, audio or something else that entails or I need for my project, you know. All kids have access, you know. It's just you have to find that access. Because I think that, I do think that Washington, D.C. and education, they're trying to reform how we learn and I feel like there are places all over where you can have, where, you know, there's access to computers and technology. First of all, as a kid, you have to find that access or wait for it to come to you. You know, I did, it came to me, but I probably would have found it if it didn't come to me, you know. And I'm lucky that it came to me because, you know, I, it, you know, it saved me some time. But um, I think that you, you have the access and now you have the option and you have to choose what you're going to do with that access. You can either use it for, and, you know, pr pr practically do nothing with it. You can take it and you can evolve it and take that knowledge and take it to a further point. And you could be here in Washington, D.C. Mm. being asked questions about it, you know, so.